Ooh, that's dark. Wow, look at that. Yeah, camera angle is all it's all, all about. It's all about the camera angle. The pie top from Adafruit for a Raspberry Pi laptop. Today on Ham Radio 2.0, coming up. Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio 2.0. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. This is your first time to join us here. Click on the subscribe button below, which might be red. If it's gray, then you're good to go. But if it's red, click on it, and it'll subscribe you to this channel, and then it'll turn gray, and then you'll be one of us. So, Josh Hosh Hoshnazi, Hoshnazi, I, you ever see that uh, episode of, of uh, <laughs> Saturday Night Live with, when uh, Christopher Walken uh, is hosting and he's introducing Foo Fighters? And then the guys at Foo Fighters la la uh, later on, they're being interviewed, and they're like, oh, yeah, Christopher Walken, he's, he's, like, he's like, hey, ladies and gentlemen, Foo Fighters. <laughs> so when I think of Josh's name, that's what I think of. Hoshnazi. Anyway. Hopefully see, uh, hopefully see a live stream with Josh Hosnazi, uh, myself, and Eric from Ham Radio Concepts at Dayton this year. Spoiler alert. So, anyway, <laughs> this is a pie top. What is a pie top? It's a laptop that has a Raspberry Pi in it. Right here. Put a link below in the description. You'll get to see it. Right there. Inside of the laptop, that is a Raspberry Pi 3B plus, 3 plus B board right there. So you take a couple of screws out. Um, right, uh, one screw there, and then, yeah, this, uh, this part right here comes completely out. And then this part right here, this board underneath that, uh, comes out also. And then this board right here is your Raspberry Pi 3 board. And then you plug in the, plug in the Pi 3 board, and this thing's on the, 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 the internal board of the Pi top, which is this guy right here, is on a slider, the sliding mechanism. And this little pin tool is supposed to help you um, lift the Pi top cover thingy, whatever it's called. And then... In the back, you can see right here, these are the actual ports on the Pi 3 motherboard. So it takes your Pi 3 and it makes it into a freaking laptop. Instead of a motherboard and a laptop, it's running on a Raspberry Pi. Now, close it up, plug it up, and it's got, a, it's got an internal battery. Let's see. Obviously, I'm going to have to... Uh, maybe the battery's dead. Let's see. Well, I think... I say it has an internal... Yeah, it does. It does. It has an internal battery. Let me plug that up. I'm going to have to bring the camera around. Actually, I'll probably just turn it around to... Uh, there we go. So, it goes through... Yeah, you see the Adafruit logo right here. And it's going to boot up. And it's just running... And I, actually, the Pi Top itself comes with a SD card adapter with a with a micro SD card already in it. So the micro SD card preloaded with this image you see booting up right here. And then an adapter, if you want to take that and put it into a micro SD adapter into your desktop or your other laptop running Windows, or probably running, you probably do it on Linux box too. And then you can uh, load another image on it. If you don't want to use the, the stock image that comes with the Pi Top from Adafruit, then you can load another image into it. So... Um, but it comes with these developer tools. Um, it comes, you know, it comes with Google Drive. It came up in it uh, on, on the setup menu. The first time I booted it, it came up and it asked me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It was simple. It didn't have any trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network. It's got, of course, since it's a Pi 3B, I can do it via Ethernet. Say, well, it's... I don't have a Pi. I don't have a Wi-Fi network. What? But <laughs> but you can do it over Ethernet too. So, uh, but it's got Chromium. 
and let's see, let's go to desktop there at the, at the top. I can click on it. I don't like these uh, touch mouse pads. And then that's what the desktop looks like. There. And of course you can install anything. I mean, it's running, it's running Raspbian. It's not running some special OS. It's running Raspbian. So I, I added the uh, terminal shortcut to the, to the taskbar at the bottom. So I can go into terminal mode. And I could install a an All Star server. I could install an MMDVM server. I could install an HB Link server, and I could do all that from right here. If I wanted to, I could install an HB Link server and take this laptop to a Hamfest. Say I say I wanted to take it to Dayton. I'm actually think I'm actually thinking through this at the same time I'm saying it. So you might end up seeing me do this. So say I want to take a laptop, I'm sorry, say I want to take this laptop and I run install HB Link on it and I want to run HB Link on it, you'd still have to have some sort of RF server coming into it though. Anyway, you could do that. It'd be some sort of, it'd be kind of tricky. But you can install, you can do a roaming HB Link server. I can plug it into the freaking mesh network. That's what I could do with it. That may be what I do with it. Maybe that's what I'll do with it because I'm going to install a, an HB Link server on our local Arden network here in North Texas so that people can plug their hotspot, Pi Star, or open spot in, in, into their mesh router and then point it at my server running on the mesh network and then key up DMR and we're on a private mesh network then. Private as in private over the Arden mesh. But yeah, it's not going over Brandmeister, it's not going over TGIF, it's not going over a sea bridge somewhere. It's not even really going over the internet, although it will be. It will be going over the tunnel system between a few of our nodes here. But in reality, if you ever watched the, the video I did with Daryl K, uh, K5DLQ about a year and a half ago, he set up a tunnel server at his house, plugged in a open spot, set up an open spot server. I tunneled to him from one of my mesh nodes here at my house, tunneled to him, those connected, I set up my open spot client here, and then we talk to each other through the open spots over the mesh without the internet. With without the internet, <laughs> the tunnel server goes over the internet, but it emulates an RF connection. So if he lived close to me, we could certainly. Anyway, I'm getting off on a tangent here, obviously. But you can install anything, anything that you can run on a Raspberry Pi. You can install here. So obviously, this is not going to be a high performance laptop. It, um, you know, it works. It's slow. You click on it. It opens something. And, uh, you know, it's open cr Chromium. Chromium. It's what they call Google Chrome in the, uh, the Debian world. So it's opening. It's thinking about opening. There it is. Opens Chrome. So you can go browse on it. And then um, let's go to discord.gg. And there's a Discord where you would go download the Discord app. Um, if you want to join the Ham Radio 2.0 Discord server, go to um, hamradio2.com forward slash Discord. I'll put that right there. Um, got a lot of people out down there. So you can download, uh, download for Linux, open Discord. You can open Discord through a browser. You don't have to run the client, but you can run it on your smartphone, Android or iPhone. And you can run it uh, from a Windows box. And it says it downloads for Linux, although I tried to get it to install on Raspbian, and Raspbian didn't like it. So I'll have to try and install it on one of my Ubuntu machines and see if that works. But anyway, so, you know, I, I, could, I could take this laptop with me and connect it to the Wi-Fi network at Dayton, running an All-Star or an HB Link server, and then have people connect their um, hotspots over the same Wi-Fi network to the HB Link server, and then create a talk group and say, okay, we're going to talk on talk group uh, 4532791, whatever the flip I want. I mean, I can create, you can go to talk group one. We're going to do talk group one. So you guys take your Pi Stars and your open spots, connect it to the Wi Fi network at Dayton, okay? Point your MMDVM server to this IP, which will be the IP of this laptop which will be running HB Link, 
and then you can connect and I can connect and he can connect and they over there can connect and we can all talk through the HB link server now kind of that would be fun to do just to do it but you don't need it because we're all right there at the Xenia fairgrounds and simplex works great but just to say we did it yeah yeah we uh we set up an HB link server on the Pi top connected to the ambient Wi-Fi there at Dayton and everyone took their open spots and their Pi star devices and pointed it to that IP that was that the that was on the Pi top and then we all talked to one another and you could see it on the Pi star dashboard and you can see it on the HB link server and you can see it here and see it there why didn't you talk simplex ah! what fun is that <laughs> so it would work and then I could I could connect I could connect the uh, the HP link back to my C bridge back in Texas, maybe I'll do that. Anyway, so this is a pretty cool device. They're about three. It's about three hundred bucks, so I probably paid too much for it. But uh, you know, if it fails, uh, well here here's what it looks like powered on. Got some lights on the Pi Star in there. Pi Star on the Raspberry Pi, and uh, you can open up the keyboard and do that. Um, here in Texas, I guess you'd get a little Derringer and hide it in there for concealed license to carry type thing if you wanted to. So, <laughs> but, but that's a pie top. Pretty sweet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with mine yet, but I'm probably going to use it for something along the lines of I might run, I might run an all-star. I might run an all-star node on it. Uh, in fact, I could run an all-star hub. I could do that. I could run an all-star hub and then just kind of like have it displaying wherever I go and take it with me. Pull it up. All Star Hub. Connect to ambient Wi Fi or connect to my 3G hotspot I keep in my truck. And, you know, have here's my All Star Hub. Now you can connect to me here and blah, blah, blah. So that might be kind of fun. Might use it for some FSQ work coming up. That'd be fun, right? FSQ. So, who's heard of this? Who's got one? Anybody got one bes besides Mr. Hoshnazi out there? Does anybody have one of these? Um, it's pretty slick. I saw it and I'm like, he was. We were on W5KUB a month or so ago, and he starts talking about a Pi Top, and I'm like, in fact, he had one there. I'm like, you got a green laptop? He's like, dude, this is a Pi Top. Have you seen this? And he showed it to me, and I'm like, hold on a second. I got him on my laptop, and I ordered one right there. And like the next day, somebody said something. They're like, man, I saw that video last night you were on, and uh, I went to order it, and and they're sold out. I'm like, I'm glad I got one then because I ordered it right then as soon as he told me about it. <laughs> Oh, fun time. So tell me some other ideas. What else what else could I do? I mean, what can you run? You can run anything you want to on a Raspberry Pi, man. I'm gonna run my garage door open on a Raspberry Pi if I want to. So what's a good uh, what's a good application for this, especially for ham radio that I might be able to get? I can probably put FL Digi on it. It's a lightweight. It doesn't weigh anything at all. Um it does have well it shows to have a battery. Yeah, I just unplugged it. And it's still on. So the Pi Top itself must have the battery because that Raspberry Pi 3 board doesn't have a battery on it. Um, so it shows that it's got half the battery. or with Charging is at 43%. Time remaining to get to full charge is two and a half hours. So not very fast charging, but, uh, but it works. Works great. And... Um, some cool stuff. A lot of developer tools on it. If I'm not a developer, I don't write code. But if you're a developer, you write code, Raspberry Pi type code. Pretty cool little device. So, uh, who's got one of these and what are you running on it? Put a comment note in the comment below. Check out some of these videos over here. Keep up with us on Ham Radio 2.0, and we will see you next time.